So you want to know, what is a radian? In order to explain, let me ask you first, what is a degree? Well, you say, a degree is a way to measure angles or rotation. 360 degrees is a full rotation or a full circle. 180 degrees is a half circle. Right. But did you ever wonder why we say a full rotation is 360 degrees? What's special about the number 360? Actually nothing. What makes more sense is to define the angle using the distance travelled around the circle. As a reminder, the full distance around a circle is 2 pi times the radius. So let's call the angle in a full circle 2 pi radians. Then the angle in a half circle will be pi radians. One radian would be the angle created by an arc of length 1 radius. But because we usually talk about radians in terms of pi, this one is the key. 180 degrees is pi radians. Pi radians is 180 degrees. So, for example, pi on 2 radians would be 180 divided by 2, that's 90 degrees. Pi on 3 radians would be 180 divided by 3, or 60 degrees. 2 pi on 3 radians would be 2 times 60 degrees, 120 degrees. Here's one for you to try. What would pi on 4 radians be in degrees? Pause the video and have a try. Forty-five degrees. Going the other way now. Thirty degrees would be 180 divided by 6. That's pi on 6 radians. 150 degrees would be 5 times 30. That's 5 pi on 6 radians. Again, here's one for you to try. What would 240 degrees be in radians? So it's 4 times 60, that's 4 times pi on 3, or 4 pi on 3 radians. If you had to calculate something like 37 degrees in radians, well, we need to know what fraction of 180 is 37. Well, it's 37 out of 180. So we have 37 pi on 180 radians. 180 degrees is pi radians. That's it, folks. Hope it was useful. In the next video, we're going to learn how to find exact values for sine, cos, and tan.